calling to order the June 30th Newton School Committee meeting. This meeting was primarily scheduled for the purpose of voting to ratify the interim superintendent contract with Kathleen Smith for the 2022-23 school year and to provide any members of the public wishing to share feedback with the committee an opportunity to do so. We haven't received any requests for public comment and so we will now turn to a discussion here in our open session regarding the interim superintendent contract. Uh, let's see if Jill has made it over. <laughs> All right, there's Jill, she's hopping on. Jill Murray Grady, uh, School Committee General Counsel, and she will give a brief rundown of the terms of the contract before us. And uh, Jill, go ahead when you have a moment. Hi, good afternoon. Um, at the last school committee vote, there was a, a meeting, there was a, a vote by the school committee to extend an offer to um, engage in negotiations and contract with um, Kathleen Smith to be the interim superintendent for Newton Public Schools. Um, and those negotiations were underway and um, resulting in this contract that um, is largely agreed upon and should be finalized with um, these terms in it uh, with uh, Kathleen Smith shortly. And I'll just give uh, a few of the, the major terms that are relevant one being the term of employment is July 1st through June 30th, July 1st, 2022, just tomorrow, through June 30th, 2023. Salary, um, the accrued bond salary is $265,000, which, um, yeah, $265,000. Um, as an employee, um, Kathleen Smith is... Um, all medical and related benefits are available to her that are offered to all Newton Public Schools employees. Um, the, she's required um, to have either a license or a waiver by DESE. Um, and there's um, language in here for some reimbursement for professional development and some travel or car expenses, which is pretty standard in these contracts. Same with the allocation of um, 25 education days, which is also standard um, in this field and in Newton Public Schools uh, administration. Um, she also is allotted the sick days and the personal days um, that is uh, consistent with what's been negotiated with the unions and part of the collective bargaining agreements, which is also extended to what we call non-aligned staff, which includes other administrators, but also employees that are not in the union. And um, either party can term, uh, she can terminate the contract early with some, with proper notice to the school committee and subject to all due process and similar rights and some additional contractual process rights here. Um, if there's, you know, an issue with performance in the school committee, there's a process by which um, that issue would be heard by the school committee and, and if necessary, um, there could be warrant discipline or termination um, again, pretty standard in uh, the contract. And finally, there's a little bit of indemnification language that is consistent with governing law in, in terms of public um, employers and um, legal um, obligations and uh, for indemnification and defense. This document it has been provided to school committee members, will be part of the documents for this meeting and will be public um, for, for people to see. Now consistent with the law, the school committee will um, discuss and take a public vote on the contract, giving um, the chair the authority to sign it on behalf of the committee. Thank you, Jill. Um, so I think the easiest way is to uh, by a, just raise your hand, your virtual hand or your hand hand if you have a question and or a comment you'd like to share or ask. Go ahead, Rajiv, and then Emily and then Kathy. Sure. Uh, Jill, are there any, any differences, major differences you'd highlight between this contract and, and that with uh, David Fleischman, other than, of course, the term? Um, not major. I would say there is a few tweaks in terms of benefits, largely based on the interim 
um, duration of, of this employment contract. Um, other than that, um, it's, it's, it, it looks the same, it largely mirrors it. Okay. So, you go ahead, Emily. So I have a question. I know that um, our retired superintendents in Massachusetts require a waiver in order to become an interim superintendent. And I'm wondering what the status of that is, um, if you could give any updates. Yes, um, our HR director and I believe um, Tom Scott, the executive director of the Mass Associ Association of School Superintendents confirmed that the state has essentially um, suspended the critical waiver shortage critical shortage waiver process through at this point through the end of 2022. Um, and um, Newton, Newton will be ready uh, to apply for one if necessary beginning in 20, January, 2023. But as of now, it's not required. Just I assume as a result of pandemic and, and related um, employment issues, hiring and, and staffing. Thank you. Thanks, Emily. Go ahead, Kathy, and then Chris. I was just going to um, comment because I thought it might be useful to share with the public the information that in negotiating this contract, Tamika and I looked at um, both Kathleen Smith's other compensation um, for serving as interim superintendent in other districts. And we also looked at contracts for interim superintendents currently in other districts and in and also permanent superintendents in other comparably sized districts. And the compensation that we are offering as part of this contract is well within the range of compensation for superintendents in other similarly sized districts. And we thought it was, um, and, and based on feedback also from Tom Scott, the, I don't know what his position is, but he's the head of the Mass School Superintendents Association. Uh, he believed that we were within the range of of comparable salary numbers. Thank you, Kathy. Uh, and the only other thing that I will add on to what Kathy said is that um, the salary that we are offering to Kathy Smith is in alignment with the budgeted amount that we had previously reserved. Go ahead, Chris. Oh, thanks, Tamika. Um, yeah, uh, Kathy just answered my question I was gonna ask. Um, if there was any sort of formal benchmarking um, analysis that was a uh, benchmarking analysis that was done uh, on both salary and, and terms, but it sounds like um, that that was uh, that was performed. Um, so uh, that, that was my only question. I think um, otherwise it, it looks uh, the terms look very reasonable. Thanks, Chris. Any other questions and or comments? So hearing none and seeing none, I think I will ask if we are ready to uh, take up the motion and if anyone would like to move uh, approval of the interim superintendent contract for Kathy Smith. If we approve the contract for Kathy Smith as interim superintendent as presented. I second that motion. Oh, sorry, Cove. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's a motion by Chris and a second by Emily. Uh, to approve the interim superintendent contract for Kathy Smith. Uh, we'll take, oh, Jill, go ahead. Oh, I'm good. All right. Uh, we will take a roll call vote on that, beginning with Ward 1. Yes. Ward 2. Yes. Ward 3 is absent. Ward 4, yes. Ward 5. Yes. Ward 6 is also absent, although he has uh, shared his um, uh, satisfaction with the terms of the current contract. Ward seven. Yes. Ward eight. Yes. And Mayor Fuller. Aye. Great, thank you very much. So that motion passes uh, by, let's see, seven, seven in uh, favor, two absent, and uh, none opposed. Perfect. Thank you, everyone. Um, 
So that concludes the posted business for this meeting, and we'll be scheduling at least two meetings this summer, most likely one in July, one in August, and both of those will have our new interim superintendent, Kathy Smith, uh, uh, with us as a panelist and as an employee on board with the Newton Public Schools. We are um, extremely excited and grateful to have her serving this function for us during uh, our year as we begin the process of looking for a replacement, a permanent superintendent. Um, and um, it's a very exciting time in Newton. And I think uh, Kathy Smith joining, joining the team will, will allow us the time that we need to um, do a very comprehensive superintendent search process. And we will update the public on that as well this summer. So thank you everyone.